Hey everyone, the Duncan Dude back with another video today. Today we're going to be going over how to use the PokéNav bot on the IED to Airbase Pokemon Go Discord server to advertise a raid and then coordinate a raid once a raid has been advertised. The bot can actually handle not only an egg, but it can also handle a boss that's already been spawned as well as an EX pass. It's highly unlikely that we would ever see an EX pass here at IED simply because none of our gems are EX coded, but you never know what the future holds. Today we're specifically going to be focusing on how to use the uh, bot to advertise a T5 egg. Uh, the first step in the process is actually going to be taking a screen cap of the egg. And you're going to see that here in a few seconds when I upload this. And then you're going to come into the Announce Raids Here channel and you're going to post that screenshot. Um, so whatever method that you use uh, for to screenshot on your phone, um, you'll go ahead and, and do that. So like with Apple, it's like the home button and the power button. And I'm not quite sure what it is for Android. But either way, you'll take a screen cap and you're going to post it here to the Announce Rates channel. And you're going to see it pop up real briefly. And I'm doing this from my primary account. So that's the screen that you want. And then you notice that the bot automatically puts some information together as far as the information for the raid. So in this case, the raid is at the big tent and it's going to hatch it. Uh, it puts the local time in here. Uh, and then down here in this section, it highlights uh, the number of people going to the raid and then what time the raid boss is scheduled to despawn. Um, you'll also notice that the picture of the egg went away. Um, and so if you go over to the active raids channel, you'll see that it has basically mirrored this information. Um, so we're going to go through a couple different scenarios here and uh, we'll go from there. So the uh, the reaction emojis down at the bottom will actually allow you to do a majority of the joining for the actual raid itself. So in this case, like I said, I posted it from my main account. So if I wanted to join this raid, I would go ahead and click this silhouette and that would uh, put me into the raid. It would prompt me for my team uh, or it would know what my team was automatically based on the role that we selected previously. Or with the introduction of remote raiding, let's say you needed a remote raid pass. If you needed an invite to the raid, you would click the red envelope and then someone else could click the red envelope to send you an invite. So we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to walk through a couple of these steps. So the first one is to say, hey, I'm interested in coming to the raid. So the Duncan dude set this up. Me is testing one, two, three. I want to go to this raid. So you go ahead and click that silhouette and you'll notice that it has updated the number of instant, excuse me, of mystic members in the raid from one to two. And you'll also notice that there is now this raid party channel up here. And if we go up there, it will show us uh, some of the information. So again, the Duncan dude was the trainer that set it up. So it's showing as, as he's in the raid. And then we just joined. So now it's showing that testing one, two, three is in the raid. Um, if we wouldn't be able to go, or if we needed a remote invite, we could click this red envelope, and that would indicate to others that we needed a uh, a raid pa a remote invite in order to be able to join. So we're going to see if we can click this. I'm not sure if this will work since we're already signed up to come in person. It looks like it didn't. Uh, I'm going to log out of this raid here real quick. And we will see if I can join it again. And it's not looking like it's letting me do that. Uh, but you could use the, the red uh, PokéNav envelope and that would uh, generate, it would show, it signal to others that you need a uh, invite and then someone else that joined the raid could also click the red um, envelope and that would allow you to um, get an invite. We might try, we'll probably deep dive that in a, in a separate video. Um, the other important thing to note is the here command. So that's dollar sign here. Um, doing that will let the raid leader know who is present uh, actually at the raid. Um, so I'm going to click through a couple channels here. I might have to rejoin this one again. 
Okay. So this one, this was one where we said, hey, we need to, uh, uh, we need to get a, an invite to the raid. Uh, so testing one, two, three, it said he joins, but you notice that it says that he needs an invite, that he's not physically present. Uh, and so then somebody can come down here and click the, uh, the red envelope in this reaction emoji. So I'll go ahead and do that from my phone. And that should now have updated to say that testing one, two, three will be invited by the Duncan dude. So that's a really cool feature of this is that it allows you um, to even handle remote raids regardless of um, what, uh, whether or not you're remote raiding. And then if you use the here command, which is dollar sign here, that tells the bot that you are at the raid. And so that way nobody gets left behind, nobody misses a start time, it's all very smooth. Uh, but using the here command is key, um, even if you're remote raiding because it ensures that the raid leader can go ahead and start uh, the raid and that everybody is, is there and on time. Another uh, helpful feature is this with function down here. So a lot of trainers have more than one account. Um, so in this case, if you were, if uh, testing one, two, three, uh, maybe they have friends in their vehicle that, that aren't on the Discord or that uh, uh, have an extra account themselves, you can put dollar sign W. And then in this case, if we were gonna bring one Mystic, one Valor, and one Instinct, you simply just spell that out um, with one M, one V, and one I. Um, if you only, let's say we were only bringing a Valor, you don't even have to list the Mystic or the Instinct, you could just solely put a dollar sign W, one V. The bot is smart enough to figure that out. Um, but for the sake of this, we'll go ahead and put um, one of each and hit enter. And you'll notice that up here at the top, as soon as I hit this, it's going to um, populate with that information. So again, we go up here and now we see that we've got three uh, Mystic, one Instinct and one Valor for a total of four going into the raid. Um, so that's a really super helpful uh, feature for that. Um, again, using the PokeNav bot makes this process super easy. Um, all you have to do is upload a screenshot of the raid boss, the raid egg or the EX pass into the announce raid channel and as you can see, the PokeNav bot takes care of the rest. And then for joining the raid, you come back down to this active raids channel or the actual raid parties. You can see that it created a separate channel specifically for this particular raid. And if there were multiple raids going at once, there would be multiple channels uh, in this raid party category. So the bot really makes it easy uh, to differentiate one raid to another. Um, you can join the raid by clicking the either the silhouette or the PokeNav uh, envelope if you need an invite. And then through use of the here command, we'll let the raid leader know that you're actually there. And if you have multiple accounts, you can use the dollar sign W command to indicate the other trainers that may be traveling with you. Uh, so hopefully this has been a quick, helpful introduction to the PokeNav feature. And uh, definitely one of the uh, primary features of the raid channel and one that we hope uh, everyone continues to use because it really makes raid uh, coordinating easy. We'll go over in our next video how to join a raid train. Those typically happen on Wednesdays as part of the currently scheduled raid hour. Uh, so keep an eye out for our next video on that.